What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this smoky look using pretty much all Danessa Myricks products. First things first, this is the beauty oil. And let me tell you, this is the anecdote for all of her complexion products. If you plan on using her foundation, please get this beauty oil because it is an essential, essential piece of the pie. So I start by just applying a thin layer all over my face to get a nice, dewy, glowy start. Next I'm going in with the Illuminating Veil. This is a cream highlighter, but I mix this with the beauty oil to sort of sheer it out. And I'm just applying this um, underneath the foundation to kind of give that glow from within look. She's really big on layering and underpainting, and so I try and kind of mimic her techniques. If you don't know who Danessa Myricks is, I suggest you look her up. She is a amazing makeup artist, photographer, business mogul, and her work is insane. I'm going in with the Vision Cream Cover in the shade N6. Here is where the beauty oil is super important. So I'm always applying the beauty oil with the product to sheer it out and create the desired consistency. What's great about Danessa Myrick's complexion products is her foundations are really just pigment. They can be used for concealer, contour, whatever you want. And you can get your desired consistency and coverage by mixing it with the beauty oil. But on its own, it's super, super pigmented and a little bit drying. I learned this the hard way. Um, so if you go in just with the product, just with the foundation, it's going to be this amazing coverage, but it's almost a little bit too hard on the paint, literally and figuratively. So I'm just using a darker pigment in the shade N8 to go ahead and contour using the same technique, depositing a little bit on the back of my hand or my little dish, applying some beauty oil, mixing it up, and it gets this just really, first of all, it's going to have a dewy complexion because you are mixing it with an oil, but it also is super blendable and just a lot easier to work with when you have that beauty elixir in the mix. Because these products are so versatile, it's a really great thing for makeup artists to have in their kit. I mean, I bought this set that comes with the entire shade range from the line, and it's such a lifesaver because if you buy that, you basically don't need concealer, you don't need contour, you know, you have everything you need in every shade and virtually every consistency by mixing it with the desired level of beauty oil. So it's a lifesaver. To buy the full entire shade range was $400, which trust me was a big investment, but you wind up saving a lot of money since you don't have to buy additional products like contour and concealer. So here I'm just cleaning up my contour by taking my foundation shade and putting some on my beauty blender and just sharpening up that jawline. To highlight, I'm using the shade N3 and again, sharing it out a bit by mixing it with that beauty oil. If you do get her entire shade range, there's one set of um, neutral foundations with neutral undertones and one set of warm foundations or pigments with warm undertones. So I got both. Both have an incredible shade range in terms of depth, like light to dark, but one has a neutral undertone and the other has more of a warm undertone. I'm definitely more of neutral undertones just because I'm like a mix. Like I have some green undertones, some yellow undertones, some blue undertone. I feel like if anything I'm more of an olive, olive kind of girl so neutral undertones usually work best for me.
And here comes all the blending footage. I blend for my dear life. And I will say, if we were going for a quintessential Danessa Myricks type of look, we wouldn't really use much powder and we would pretty much stop right around here, maybe just powdering the T-zone. She loves a dewy ass moment because um, her foundations are perfect for that. But the other thing about using such a dewy, glowy foundation is it affords you the ability to set it with powder because it's so juicy and glowy that the powder is not going to make it look crusty. It's actually it's dewy enough that the luminosity can shine through the powder. So here I'm just pouncing some e.l.f. HD powder into my skin, really locking in this look. And the little pouncing motion I feel like really just helps the skin and the makeup become one. I've learned it's important to set your neck too, just to have some consistency between your face and your neck so you don't have like a matte face and a shiny ass neck. To really sculpt the face, I decided to go ahead and bake and really just intensify this contour by this little reverse contour motion. I don't think Dennis Myricks is one to really bake because her work is really dewy and really glowy, but I just decided to take it there and have fun with it. I didn't really have a plan going into this and once I got started, I just said, you know what, we're going to go all the way, full glam, baby. For contour, I apply just a little bit of the pressed powder by Too Faced in the shade Warm Sand. Then I just rub out any creasing on my eyelids and go ahead and set my eyelids with the same powder. Now it's time to rock and roll with this Color Fix in the shade Blackout. These Color Fix products are sensational. They are also very versatile and can be used for so many different things. This could be eyeliner, this could be shadow, it's all about just how you apply it. So this is really just a pigment, it comes out to um, like a dry matte finish. So I just take a little bit on the back of my hand and start working it into the eyelid to kind of create like a soft smoky eye and I just build up the coverage as I go. But this is fantastic because if I just wanted to apply this thin and concentrated, it could be an eyeliner. If I want a smoked out, you know, smoky eye with no fallout since it's a cream, boom, period, here we are. And it's really blendable and easy to work with. So. It's, it's great and she has these in literally like every color like she has neon she has glitter she has you know matte everything I, I love it so much it can even be a lip color she has like lip shades um, just everything that's what I love about her line is she really took like a makeup artist approach because she is a makeup artist first and created things that we could use multi-purpose because everybody knows it's expensive to build your kit and buy so many different things when really all makeup is just pigment that's all it is so she created super versatile pigments that we can really get a lot of use out of and just get a huge bang for our buck and I love her for that
going in with the color fix in the shade Alien. This is a super pigmented, fun, glittery shade that just gives me so much life. And I'm just applying that right in the center of the lid with a tiny little brush. Honestly, I think this is a lip brush, but it works fine for this. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my finger. And then I just add some more of the blackout to really smoke this out and intensify the look. Then I just use a clean brush to really diffuse the outer rim of this look. To get even more definition here, I'm applying this as if it's eyeliner with a smaller brush. Then I just applied some liquid eyeliner just to really get a sharp line here. And then I just applied some pencil on the waterline to really intensify this look. I apply some MAC Extended Play Mascara to coat the lashes, bottom lashes as well. And then I plopped on my Lily Lashes, I believe these are Miami, straight up took these from Spencer's video. He let me wear these lashes and so I just kept them and use them in this one because they're bomb. Going in with my Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. This blush is beyond hitting pan. I definitely need a new one, but it's my favorite blush of all time, and I just apply it on my cheeks and my nose and start warming up the face a bit. No shame in my game. I'm going in with the Soft Glam eyeshadow shades in the Shimmery shades um, and using it as a highlighter. It was just what was handy, and it just made sense at the time. Using my Milani lip pencil in the shade Spice, I'm just lining my lips. Um, this is a pretty natural lip shade for me. I wanted to keep the lips pretty neutral since the eyes are more on the intense side. And I'm just lining up those lips. Using my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick for a nice neutral shade for the lip, I'm just applying this to the center and then topping off with some clear gloss. Spritzing myself with Evian because I think I'm done and then realized I forgot about this thing called eyebrows. So because the eye is very dramatic, I'm keeping the brow more on the neutral side and I'm just lightly filling them in with this NYX pencil and brushing it through until I get the desired shape. Okay, now we're done. Here's how we went from this to this. Thank you for watching this transformation. Go get you some Danessa Myricks. This is not sponsored, I just love her. And thank you for watching, love you.